peace peace everyone i just hopped in the car um to go turn left on avenue f you're gonna hear my gps <laughs> uh i kind of know how to get there but not exactly to the place so i hopped up this morning turn left on avenue e then turn right on south lacy drive to get my other key fob programmed so that turn right on south lacy drive then turn left on new dallas highway let's see i already know where i'm going i should have waited to put this in um to get this other key fob programmed when i initially got my turn car. right then turn left on new dallas highway When I initially got my um, key, they gave Approaching me this Approaching a railroad one. crossing. When I initially got my car, they brought me this um, key fob, which doesn't have the part included in it that you can start the car. It's supposed to be a remote, you know, start. This is supposed to be included in this key fob and it wasn't so i kept talking and kept talking and they finally sent me another one <clears throat> and it's this one so i'm on the way to mcgregor which is 20 minutes from where i'm at to get them to program this key fob which you can see is definitely different um you're supposed to press the lock button twice and then press this circle kind of button right here press it and hold it for the car to start i have my chevrolet link i think it's called and you can start the car that way but it's very temperamental some mornings it'll work the last two mornings it did not work and uh so i decided just to go ahead and use the left lane to turn left on loop 340 then turn right on frontage road so we don't have to worry about that because it's already getting cold. It's 50 degrees here. And that's a little on the chilly side. Um, I have on my jacket this morning because I'm very cold natured. So anyway, that's where we're on the way to. I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know why I'm on here. Uh, I don't have really going to show you my keys but I don't have too much on here. I bought this little cute Chevy um, keychain and the reason I like this is that it has this so you can put it on your um, belt loop if you're wearing pants at, as such. I only have a couple of pair of pants like that right now. And then the only other thing I put on here was my Flower of Life keychain. It's so cute. It's so cute. So that's it. I ordered a couple more things, but it's going to take them forever and a day to come. And then you see I have my crystal hung up for my, my rear view mirror. I got to have my um, selenite, which is a protection crystal. I got to have that with me everywhere I go. So there's that. And I guess that's it. I, um, I guess I will. Oh, and I have my crystals on too. Today I have on my usual black tourmaline. I need to wear that every day for energy. And then I also have on pyrite, which is also known as fool's gold. That's the ones I have on today. Use the right two lanes so, to exit right to US 84 to State Highway 31, Waco Drive. Okay. Then keep left to North Loop Drive. I guess I'm going to get off of here because my GPS is definitely going to be talking to me the whole way. And I'll see you guys when I make it to the place. It's the Chevrolet dealership in McGregor. And I'll see you guys over there. Well, I'm here in McGregor. I've been here a little bit. And I was supposed to be recording when I pulled up here, but I didn't think about it. I was just excited to know that I was going to get my little key fob program today so I'm excited about that anyway 
this is like a small it's not really that small actually but it's kind of like a, a smaller dealership because it's a little bitty country town mcgregor is so small don't know if you guys have heard about it but yeah it's cool people here are nice i ran into a classmate of mine <laughs> i mean it's so funny and i'm her facebook friend but it's been like forever since school since i saw her but she's here look at this pretty malibu y'all isn't this pretty it's so pretty i didn't think i would really like silver but man this is really pretty that silver color is really pretty anyway i'm just walking around it's kind of chilly out here but not super chilly yeah this is a nice size dealership they kind of have this thing going on just like with everybody else right now that they don't have any cars because of the chip situation the chip shortage so there's more cars over here i guess i could go over here and look can't get with those equinoxes i don't like those they're nice and roomy though they're nice i just don't like the way they look on the outside and it's really just that back window it's so weird it's like why do they have that back window okay so the ones over here are this is the pre-owned side my car was pre-owned so it had one owner and that's why it's still super super nice but can get me a little walk a little workout by walking around here just to see what they have over here see some malibus i better get back in quick though because my nose is already trying to run it's not even that cold out here traverse platinum what is this it's a v8 what is, oh armada that's what the armadas look like? that's not even cute anymore man the armadas used to be so cute that is not cute to me anyway next let's see here's a dark gray Here's a dark gray Malibu. That's a pretty color too. I thought this white car was a Malibu, but I don't think so. I don't know. Could still be a Malibu. This has like a little lift. No, it's not a Malibu. I didn't think so. It's a Honda. Nice. The Hondas, they're nice. They are nice. Hi. <laughs> just over here looking because i just took my car over there oh okay. i'm just making a little video yes ma'am to yes. put on youtube <laughs> i started youtube a couple of weeks ago i was like look at these nice cars yeah i just came over here um i bought my car like three weeks ago and i actually got it from san angelo and the fob that they gave me was not the one that was originally with it. Yes, ma'am. So they sent me another fob and then I had to get it programmed. So, okay. yeah. So I'm just looking around at your nice cars. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I will. Thank you. I had to get my little shadow off the camera. Wish I would have been paying attention that my whole shadow was on the camera. Anyway, this is, this is little and cute. Yeah, it's not that cute. And it's super little. It would be too little. A track, yeah. A track, it's little. Super little. Anyway, I guess I'll get back over here. Pilot. It's a pilot. I'm just over here. That's the pre-owned department. Anyway, I guess I'll get back over here. My nose is trying to run.
so I heard that. That's a little bitches. Go ahead, McGregor. Even less. Yeah. Woohoo! Uh -huh. I get to go spend some more money. <laughs> yeah, <good laughs> it did terrible. It is, uh, over there at that general store. Um, All kinds of new people oh stuff it's over like there. A boutique. Say it again. It's I'm sorry. General store. You need uh -huh. to go check that out. I will go there now. Yes, you have to. Yeah, it's got some good stuff. Maya. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So it's on this side, on the right side. It's gonna as be I'm on leaving. the left side. It's that red that building right there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. It's, this looks like a feed store. Half the half of the feed store on the other side is a big feed. Oh, okay. Cool. Do I get the other one back? It's in the car. It's in the car. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. Oh, I'm excited. Swap that key out and for that one. Or did you already do it? Oh, you already did it. Okay. Yeah. This is so cool. Right. Yeah. Yay. So excited now. <laughs> yeah, that makes a big difference. <laughs> it does when you're just so used to having one, and then you know. Or, you, you know, know what? I have to be honest. I'm not even used to having one, but it's but like it, it. It yeah, because it came with the technology package, and it was supposed to be included. So it's like, if it's supposed to be included, we need to make it happen, y'all. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, at least they sent me this. I got nine Malibu, and then I gave it to one of my daughters. And my brother was like, you're not going to have any problems with that. They're like, he's like, he had a, like a 06 or something Malibu, he said. He said he never, he got in a car wreck, and that's why he doesn't have it. He's that's like, he what never. That's what happened Like, I, 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 I wow. we, we, we just passed down to Bo's daughter, and, um, and then she had it, you know, and then it, wow. somebody hit her ran a red light and hit her or she would probably still it. have it yeah because yeah. i never had any trouble that car. and i've only had it like three weeks and it's like it just is so quiet and when you start it it's like man this is this is you it was a one owner and i believe it was a one owner because i'm telling you the black leather seats inside like there's nothing wrong with the i mean it is just nice Good. i'm well, like if you have any problems just yeah call and i will i definitely will yeah. All right, Bye. see you later. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's so awesome. It only cost me sixty six dollars to get it done. It's so dope. All right, I'm gonna try it. Press and hold. <laughs> Bam. Yep. Got that good press to start. So dope. I love it, love it, love it. So dope. My pretty little car. Peace, peace. I just wanted to get on here just really quick. Tell y'all how, <laughs> how the McGregor Chevrolet dealership tried to just play me. And maybe they didn't, but I think that they did. Uh, actually, let me recant that. They didn't actually play me because I paid half the price that they told me that I was going to have to pay. It was supposed to be $130 when they brought it to me and when they told me my car was done, brought me the fob and I went to go pay, it was only $66. I'm like, yes, more money to spend. I'm so glad that I did it because I was thinking it was gonna be two or three hundred dollars and all of this other kind of stuff. Sixty-six dollars, even though they quoted me hundred and thirty. So win-win. Uh-oh, sorry y'all. I just made a U-turn. Now the sun is everywhere. But um, so anyway, how I was saying that <clears throat> I think they tried to play me um, was because when I got ready to leave, I was like, it was just the the new key fob that they gave me. And um, I didn't see the other one. 
So I was like, um, do you have, have the other key fob? And they were like, she was like, oh, it's in the car. I was like, oh, okay. So I went to the car and I'm very OCD. So I went to the car and I started to clean out my stair, clean off my steering wheel, my gear shift, my um, window controls, the, the door handle, just because I'm OCD. So somebody was in here after me, so I have to clean all that back off. That's just how I am. I've always kind of been like this. Um, since 2001 or 2002, I've been this type OCD type craziness kind of drives me bananas but anyway um so I'm doing that trying to figure out why are you all in the glove box like the the center console I mean why are you all in the center console why is everything all topsy-turvy in my center console so I just assumed that there was something that they had to do in there had to be to program it it had to be otherwise why are you all in my stuff in the center console I mean, stuff was all over the place, not the way I left it at all. And I'm hoping everything is in there that was in there. I don't know how I'm gonna really remember if it is or not. But anyway, I'm just looking around, making sure everything else looks fine. Um, and so I'm looking for the key fob and I don't see it anywhere. I'm looking everywhere. I even looked in the glove box, center console, cup holders, side pockets on the doors, storage in the doors. I looked everywhere. So I went back in and I was like, I started to say, y'all tried to play me right. But instead I walked in very nice and I was like, I didn't see the fob. Can you ask them where they put it? Knowing good and well, they didn't put it in the car. So anyway, um, she went to the back, she came back and she had the other fob. She was like, well, I'm glad you said something. Um, they said that make sure you don't have the key fob inside of this old key fob inside of the car or the remote start will not work. Oh, okay, cool. I started to say, so why did they tell you that it was inside the car? which was a lie but I just took it and I was like okay thank you and that was it but I just wanted to get on here make this little short video first of all I'm so thankful that I paid half the price of what I thought I was going to pay <laughs> um but second of all they tried to play me they thought they was gonna keep my old key fob not today buddy wrong person but um anyway they just told me about this mcgregor general store they said that they have all kinds of everything in here so i'm just gonna go in here and take a look and see what all they have um let me show you the store real quick so here is the mcgregor general store that they were telling me about it does look like a really cool store so i'm gonna go in here real quick just to see what all is in here I'll be back or maybe I'll take some footage while I'm inside. This is a cool store. It's got all kinds of stuff in here. Cool store. Probably a bunch of stuff I wouldn't ever really need but it's a cool store anyway Let's see what this is bruh mate hop soil color slime drink better go leopard hmm. cool looking stuff Oh, these bandits are cute. Bandits. They're so cute. I don't like those. Can 
jeans. It's cool. A liquor canteen. I didn't drink liquor, but that's cool. Got all these Yeti cups. This is a cool, cool, cool store. The little ones. Wine. Wine tumbler. Tumbler. That's cool. be a good store if I still had my puppy, but they don't have him anymore. Yeah, this is a cool store. Cool store. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna get out of here. I don't need anything in here. It's a cool store though. Just not a country person, so I don't need the cowboy boots and cowboy hats and all that. I don't need all that. I'm not into that. It's cool though. Okay, here's a quick video to show that I just got home and took my seatbelt covers out of the mailbox. Um, they are leather and they are, what is this? SCG? CGS? Huh? SCG direct after sales. So um I'm gonna put these on so I'm gonna put these on my car in a minute, but I'm going to um kind of put some leather cleaner on them so they can be a little not so dull looking um, and I ordered two of them so this is a two pack and then this is a two pack so I got four of them all together so I'm gonna put these on microfiber leather okay I'm gonna put these on later and then I'm gonna do um, another car tour. The only thing I'm missing is my steering wheel cover that looks like it's not going to come until next year. Don't know why it's taking so long. It's just not that serious. All right, but I'll be back, guys. <laughs> 